Hello and welcome to the final challenge of the Iceni Women's Race Series for 2024 with me, Emma Martin. We have been celebrating Women's History Month by racing every Tuesday in March. Warriors on bikes, not in chariots, but if you are in London, don't forget you can find a warrior in a chariot because Boudicca and her daughters in that chariot are facing Big Ben on Westminster Pier. Victoria Embankment is where you need to go, well, to see the statue that is. Well, no statues on the start line tonight. Instead, 250 female cycling warriors this evening looking to take points away for the series win. So this is challenge four of four. Who will win tonight? Who will amass the most points overall? Who will be making Iceni history? For the final challenge tonight, we are heading to France. Let's take a look at what lies ahead and where those points will be won. So Cass Pats is where we are heading tonight. And as you can see, we've got a very fast and furious run out because that first sprint is within 700 metres of that start pen. Then a long flat section until the rest of the segments come thick and fast. We've had climbing stages. We've had sprinting stages. We've had time trial stages. This has got a little bit of everything to finish off. Should we have a look in a little bit more detail? So tonight, 23.9 kilometres of racing. The first 12 kilometres of that are indeed flat. Now, the first sprint segment does indeed come and you can see uh, we've uh, the segments at the end here is actually at the beginning. So straight out of those start pens, 700 metres into it, the riders come up onto the marina sprint reverse. It is going to be fastest through the segment for our first intermediate. So getting a great start out of that start pen going to be absolutely key this evening that marina sprint reverse just shy of 200 meters pan flat is going to be very fast and then well there's a long run around 11 kilometers to sprint number two now sprint number two the pave sprint reverse longer than the marina sprint at 330 meters 11.6 uh, kilometers into the route and as you can see it's pretty much flat from that first sprint to the second this time though it's going to be first across the line so that is going to be really really key for our riders today then the climbs start to come thick and fast. Our first climbing segment tonight, the Aqueduct QOM, comes at 13.4 kilometres into the route. It's fairly short, but it will come very quick after that previous sprint. 400 metres in total. It's only 9.4 metres elevation gain, but I tell you something, you really feel it in your legs. An average gradient of 2.3%, it'll wake you up. And it's going to be really key in the race here because as you go over the top of the Aqueduct QOM, the descent starts and boy, do the gaps stretch on that descent. Well, the final intermediate tonight is going to be the petty qom it's 2.7 kilometers in length and you can see they're coming at 17.3 k into this race tonight an average gradient of just shy of four percent but the length is what is really going to do it for our riders today now the aqueduct qom it's fastest through the segment, so offering an opportunity to those riders who may not be at the front of their race field. But the Petit QOM, that's first across the line. So being first in your category is where you are going to pick those points up. Each of our intermediate sprints today, 25 points available for either the fastest through the segment or the first over the line. Top 10 in each of those segments picking up points today. And the finish line, well, you get to the top of the Petit QOM, you've got 2.7 kilometres of downhill and then an 800 metre flat run to the finish line where the first rider across the line in each category is going to be picking up 75 points.
So it's points that count today. And the points today on offer a maximum of 175 points in each of our categories will be added to the series standings. So after three challenges, there is one challenge left to go. And it is the points that these riders are after tonight. Now in category A, Otto from Wahoo Lacal still tops the leaderboard with 391 points. She is ahead of Elise Gallegos from Wahoo Lacal also by 350 with 350 points by 41 points. So 41 points clear of Gallegos is Otto. Uh, but Gallegos did not join us for the first race. So she has been quickly climbing the leader's standings. Has she left it too late to catch or will she make it through today? Well, Proust is in third place. 14 points back, then Engstrom, then London, rounding out the top five in category A. In category B, Sogrom has 414 points, 60 points clear of Smeroid, uh, who's 27 points clear of Vassen. However, Ernst in fourth place, seven points back. Dobbins in fifth, only four points back on her. So all to play for in that top 10. Category C, uh, Anae from Herd, 354 points topping the leaderboard. She's only 20 points clear of Wimblet from the Aeonian squad at 334. This is the closest one to that we have in all four categories. Profumo is climbing her way very, very quickly through the field from Team Italy, 30 points back. Then Williams from the Aeonian squad, 28 points back. And uh, Boxy from Galaxy rounding out the top five there. In category D, Halbus, well, she has been edging her way from Carla Williams from the Aeonian squad each week. She now has a lead on second place of 35 points. Hughes is 14 points behind Williams. Michelle F from Evo, she's 11 points further back from Hughes. Then Helit from the Crush Pod, well, seven points back there. So it's going to be some fast and furious racing in all four of our categories tonight for our riders to scoop up those final sets of points that are available. Who can pick up those points? Who can top the standings next week? Well, you're going to head over to ZwiftPower.com to find the overall results later this evening or tomorrow because tonight's points well they will be added to the results from the last three weeks to give the winner of the Iceni women's race series for 2024 we are one minute off of race start for our category a riders they will be the first riders out of the start pens tonight followed one minute by category b a further minute back to c and then category d starting at three minutes past six now we mentioned that the first sprint tonight that first intermediate section comes 700 meters out of the start pen a warm-up well a good warm-up is going to be absolutely crucial critical and getting that momentum right off the start line core to getting that sprint as well so away you go category a they are up and out of the start pen and swinging out onto the course now the marina sprint reverse the first intermediate they are going to come up on 700 meters into this course it is a fastest through the segment intermediate so expect riders to be hanging back on the group at 200 meters in total we're expecting to see the riders coming from the back of the group to the front of the group to pick up that segment so we've got a fast push out of the start pen. The riders up to pace really, really quickly. 45 kilometers an hour within 200 meters of the start pen. Real push coming on at the front. McIntosh is there. So is Webster. So is Baines. Alba Frisk. Svardstrom is in the mix as well. Engstrom sitting a little bit further back. And London and Pruitt just now moving back down the field as they start to come up and through. They're going to see on the right-hand side of the road the green banner indicating the start of the sprint very shortly in fact yep take a look there it is the sprint 
Well, it is now underway. Tomkinson coming from the back of the group, kicking at 10 lots per kilo. Rhea Mobs is in the mix tonight as well. Welcome, Rhea, to the Iceni Women's Race Series. She's got one heck of a sprint on her as well. But Bullock and Baines, Tomkinson goes over the top. Lundin is there too. So is Engstrom, Svartstrom, Frisk, Mobs all in the mix. Baines is there too. But who is going to have set the fastest time through that segment? That is going to be the really interesting one to look at. Well, category A are through. Category B are up and out the start pad. And take a look at the stretch on that category B group already. We've got a flyer out of the start pen. Gilbert is there from Synergy. So is Smith. Uh, Bandinas is there too. So is, uh, let's take a look. Tina is there as well as Vale. These riders now really pushing on now. This is the start of the section. It is a fastest through the section. So expect to see the riders coming from the back of the group. And we can. Michaelic coming up and over the top. Wow, what a flyer there from Ernst as well. Smederoid is in the mix. So is Lawson. So is Tennille. So is Dobbins. All these riders absolutely flying through that section. What a stretch on that category B group. Who is going to be the quickest? Wow, we are going to have to find out. Category A and Category B up and through that first sprint segment. Category C, a much steadier run out of the start pens. I say much steadier. They are running at 42 kilometers an hour at the moment, but they've still got a little way to go until they see that green dotted line and the green signal indicating the start of that sprint. There's still a stretch on this Category B group, but Kirby is in here. Boxy is here. Nina from the Ionian squad is in the mix as well. Freeborg is sitting back. In fact, there's a number of riders sitting back. McMahon sitting back as well as Boxy. Freeborg. Profumo, I've just seen towards the back of that group as well as the sprint. Well, there's the green banner indicating the start of the sprint. And we start to see some kicks from the riders. I can see 10 watts per kilo. And we're starting to see some orange numbers light up the screen here. Nina from the Aeonian squad. Andrea as well is pushing hard. Jules from Galaxy. Lockburg from ESRT. Wimblet is there as well. Now she's lying in second place behind Ane from Herd on the overall. Can she pick up these extra points to Today. Well, fast, fast times. Fast, fast times from our category C riders coming through those sections. Well, uh, this is category D, the last group of riders out of the start pen. They are heading towards the green banner, the green dotted line signifying the start. Hughes is here, Bowman is here, Brown, Helit is there, Hannah from Level, Hannah G is in the mix as well. Powell from the ESRT squad, Boost is here as well. So is M from Evo, so strong riders in the mix here. But I think those riders are towards the back of the group who are going to be contending this because it's the fastest through the segment. The real push is now coming, Ruth from Coalition coming over the top, Powell is there as well, so is Timmins. And Hannah from Level. Carla from the Aeonian squad is in the mix as well. Oh, it's all going to be about fastest through that segment. Oh, the riders picked up. Halbus is in there as well from the Swedish Swifters. Now, Halbus leading the Cash Greek D overall at the moment with 396 points. Been a phenomenally competitive category. 90 Riders in the mix in category D, 113 women on the overall series standings in category C, 76 in category B and 50 women in the category A Iceni Women's Race Series overall results. So all four categories up and out of the start pen and through the first intermediate section already. We're back in with category A and we see Kath Tompkinson there on our screen. She's in the mix there and we've got a bit of a stretch on the front of the group at the moment. Now, this is really interesting because this is a flat, flat section. The first part of this course for around 11, 11 and a half kilometers is fairly set at zero percent but Tidholm from the ESRT squad well she's not leaving anything to chance setting a strong time to our pace at the moment is Tidholm uh, pushing on at the front here so she's now got a gap she's sitting comfortably uh 
at that pace. Uh, one rider in no man's land between the group and her trying to close that down. But the group and the pack will be rolling strongly on this flat section. Now we can see Berglund is in there. Mobs is at the front of that group. Uh, Otto, who is leading the standings from Wahoo Lacole at the moment in there as well. So is Dixon from Synergy. Tompkinson, who we saw on our screen. Maudsley is here as well. But Mobs is the rider towing them back to Tidholm. She doesn't want anyone to get away. This has got to be the type of course that is going to suit Rhea Mobs. But Horner is there. Bullock is there. Spadstrom is there. London is in the mix as well. So is Engstrom. Nobody is going to want to let anybody get away, particularly not this early in the race. Well, we have our riders on the screen at the moment. Those in the Zoom rooms, we can see them riding and racing. Very different setups. Uh, and we can see them on the screen as well at the moment. But one of the things we've also been doing throughout the Iceni Women's Challenge is hearing from some of our riders as well. So it's great to see our riders on the screen. It's great to see our riders in their pain caves. But this group of women also have been telling us their story. So we asked our riders, what does cycling mean to you? And what advice would you give to other women who have not raced on Zwift before? Well, let's take a little listen to what Jen has to say. Cycling, especially indoor cycling, is all about community and friendship and challenging yourself to push to new limits. If you haven't raced on Zwift before, I encourage you to just give it a go. Once you've done it once, you'll be completely hooked. Uh, the other piece of advice, find a great team with a great community that aligns with your values and you'll never look back. Well, she's right about never looking back. And I'll tell you something, our riders are not looking back tonight because they are looking forward. Our Category A riders at 5.7 kilometres now of this 23.9 kilometre race. Category B are a little further behind. They started one minute behind. Now, what's really interesting is we saw Tidholm go out. Mobs closed her down. We've now got another Wickenburg rider, another Swedish rider going up and out. And it's Mobs again who's closing it down. Rhea Mobs must be feeling strong tonight because she's breaking down every breakaway she's closing them down tonight so wickenberg uh gone out on the lead two second gap off the chase group mobs is the rider chasing her down to home at the front of the pack otto snuck in to the group nice and tight dixon is there baines mackintosh london and engstrom Moresbury and proust also in the mix but they're tight in the group behind as Rhea mobs catches her mark she catches wickenberg and she goes up and over the top so Sophia Wickenberg from the ESRT squad being brought back into the mix. Well, I don't know about being brought back into the mix, but she's being caught by Rhea Mobs. Will this now be a two up time trial away from the group? Or are we going to see Wickenberg sit up and mobs two down at about 3.74 watts per kilo at the moment? But the pack, the pace of the front of the pack has backed off a little. They are not charging after at the moment. Now, mobs and Wickenberg, the two riders out front in category A. In category B, we've got Cabot and Tanil Irish from Raven also stretching the group here and pushing on, ensuring that, uh, well, ensuring that they've got a stretch and are trying to whittle that group down. So Cabot, Tennille Irish, Lawson from the Aeonian squad in there as well as Dobbins from Velos. Now Dobbins moving up into fifth place overall in category B last week after challenge number three really putting herself in a strong position uh, for a good finish overall in this series. Category C as well. We've got an attacking. Oh, interesting, isn't it? Never make assumptions from looking at a race profile because we've got an attack in category C as well. Fonseca is the rider here pushing on. And you can see the gap now. Six seconds. Fonseca is now clear of the chasing group. Alessio, Godfrey, Lombre, all in the back group. McManon is there as well. But it's Alice Fonseca who is pushing on at the front and obviously feeling very strong tonight. 
So attacks in category A, B and C this evening, early, early in this race. Category D, well, it's looking like category D. We've got one big group. Elmore is leading the group. M from Evo is there. So is Hughes. So is the Breeze Rider from Watford. Uh, we've got Hansen in the mix. M from Evo. Taylor from Level. All these riders in the mix and in the group. And, uh, well, my money would be on someone sitting tightly in that group, making the most of the draft at the moment. Taylor from Level is doing just that. So is Powell from the ESRT squad, keeping their powder dry at the moment and keeping their energy close to them, ready to pounce later. The second intermediate, the Pave Sprint Reverse, it is a first across the line segment coming at 11.3 kilometres into the race. Now, we have been hearing from our women uh, throughout the Iceni Women's Race Series, and we have a number of women who we are going to hear from tonight. We've already heard from Jen. We are going to hear from another one of our riders very shortly. Uh, what does right cycling mean to you and what advice would you give to other women who have not raced before? Well, Whitney is going to give us her feelings on those two questions. Hey, I'm Whitney Stidham. I race for On The Rivet Racing. The advice that I would give to ladies that are getting into racing would be to not be afraid. Just get out there and do it. Um, I know it's a little scary. Um, anytime you have a new experience, you're going to be a little scared. That's normal. But don't be afraid to get out there and push yourself. The ladies cycling community is very strong and you're going to meet a lot of amazing ladies. You're also going to meet a lot of strong ladies too. So my best advice would be to get, just get out there and do it. You know, just don't be afraid. Just get out there and say, hey, I'm going to race. So that would be my advice. And great advice as well from Whitney. Well, they're around two kilometres away. Well, our A category riders are around two kilometres away from the Pave Sprint section and the Marina Sprint uh, results are very, very interesting. Now, the Marina Sprint, 700 metres out to stop and it was the first fastest through the segment sprint and it's Kath Tomkinson who takes the fastest through the segment in category A from London from Tidholm so really interesting to see not the riders who went across the line first at all you've got to get your techniques right and you've got to get your tactics right well the A category group are really thinking about how they get their technique and tactic right for the Pave sprint reverse because this second intermediate is first across the line the top 10 riders across the line will pick up points 25 points to the first rider across the line 18 to second 15 to third 12 to fourth right the way down through the top 10 well it's Tid Holm who is pushing again she's already tried to make an attack and that attack was walked back by mobs and guess who's on the front of the chase group behind it's mobs again absolutely pulling the group up to tid holmes wheel so tid Holm putting in a break here she's oh, she was five seconds clear of the group and it is mobs trying to close her down using one of those matches but she's a strong strong rider and great to see her here in the mix on the icini women's race series tonight the category one women well they are sat in the pack behind her she's trying to chase down the lone leader Johanna Tidholm from the ESRT squad currently out on the front of this group and running now into the latter stages towards the Pave Sprint. Now, being a first across the line, Tidholm making the break from the group. Great, great tactic, but it's a long sprint. It's 330. 30 meters in length it's a long sprint to stay clear of a fast moving pack and that fast moving pack we can see them behind mobs at the moment but if you look on the bottom left hand corner of your screen mobs is closing in on tidholm but the pack now starting to stretch behind and starting to motor because that sprint now really coming up. They're going to see the start of the sprint section any minute now. 
as Mobs is two seconds behind Tidholm. Tidholm now two seconds in front. Look at that view at the moment. We've got Tidholm in one. We've got Mobs in two. Seven seconds back to the chasing group as Tidholm comes sweeping under the bridge. And there it is. That is the green dotted line on the pave signifying the start of the sprint as Tidholm pushes on. Rhea Mobs now opening up her sprint behind and moving into those orange numbers. These riders eight seconds clear of the chasing group but Alba from Synergy pushing 12 watts per kilo in the group behind and Tomkinson from the ART squad coming fast. Now Mobs closing in but she's not going to close in close enough to Tidholm to pick up maximum points. So Tidholm in one, Mobs in two, the Alba rider with Proust are all coming through there. Tomkinson right up there as well, having taken the top points in the first intermediate tonight. Great riding by her as well. These women absolutely on fire. Absolutely doing the business tonight on the final stage of the Iceni Women's Race Series. Pushing on those pedals, picking up those points. Now this category A pack sweeping through the latter stages after the intermediate, the pave sprint reverse. It is not going to be long until they get towards the run in of the Aqueduct QOM now coming at 13.5 kilometers into the race. It's a short transition between the sprint and the climb. And you can see the stretch on the group at the top right hand side of your screen. You can see the long red snake uh, behind this leading pack. But Bullock, Wilson, Mobs, Wickenberg all in the mix here. Baines is there too, so is Parry. Tompkinson is in this group as well. Riders just getting caught on that transition, being dropped off the back of this group as this group really keeps on motoring. The pace is still high in this category A race. Svardstrom is in here as well. Proust is there. McIntosh is in the mix and Horner. These riders tight to the back. One or two riders now making the juncture into the back of the group. Well, that's category A. They're transitioning towards the Aqueduct QOM on the Pave Sprint at the moment. Are our category B riders? It's first across the line, and it's Louise from Foodray right up at the front, but not there yet. Engstrom is there. Sotran is there. Tanil Irish earns from the crush pod. Dobbins is there as well. So is Gina from Team Netherlands. These riders right up at the front, and Tori from the Ionian squad, looking like she's going to have picked up points there as well. So fast, fast riders there in the category B race through that pave sprint reverse. Back in with our category A riders. They're about to do the Aqueduct QOM. That's the red marker you can see signifying the climb. This is the start of the climb. This is fastest through the segment. So not necessarily the rider at the front of the group who is going to pick up the fastest time. In fact, we've got one rider really flying through the group at the moment. And that looks to me as though it's Jem from the SRT squad. Tompkinson is there pushing big numbers at the moment. So is London. So is Otto. And Pruitt starts to come to the fore. Pruitt really pushing on as well. Horner is there too, working her way through the field. Baines and Tomkinson. Proust is there too. These riders really stretching out. It looks like it's Tidholm who's going to go through right towards the front. Engstrom and Rob's mobs a little bit further back there. But the riders now pushing on. And this is a danger part of this course because as these riders swing around this right hand corner, the drops into the descent off of the QOM and the gaps start to stretch. You cannot let a group go. You cannot let a gap get too big on this section because it just elongates. And Otto is the rider at the front of that category A field. Our Otto's at the front of the category A field. This is the category C race. They are just coming through that pave sprint, the first across the line. This is the tail on the group. And look how long the snake of blue is on that top right-hand screen. That is the length of the drag of the pack of this category C race. The women here are absolutely digging in to stay on. Fonseca, one of the riders we saw attack earlier on in category C, caught towards the back of this group. She's currently in 43rd position out of the 71 riders. She's on the back of the group. She needs to squeeze on because she doesn't want to let this group go at the moment because they're only going to swing around and start the run to the Aqueduct QOM. 
Category B there on the Aqueduct QOM at the moment. 400 metres, well, it feels a lot longer than that. And it's Cabot at the front of the group. This is fastest through the section. Ernst is there. Smederoid is there. Cabot is there. Sogren is there. Tennille Irish from Rave On is there as well. These riders pushing on here, pushing hard through the section. Lawson from the Ionian squad is not far off either. So Ronberg from Swedish Swifters. Cabot as well pushing on, moving through that group and picking up points for the top 10 riders. Now, one of the things these riders are really going to have to watch here is very much the gaps that are forming because this swing round to the right, the drop down here is going to elongate those gaps and Dobbins really working hard to close on. In fact, Dobbins having worked very, very strongly on that climb, she made that transition to catch the group as well in front, which will give her the draft on this descent. But this group of four riders have now got to make the catch onto the back of that group. And you can see Dobbins go up and over the top of the group. She came onto the back of it and she knows the danger here. She does not want to let that group go. So one second back from Ernst Will. Ernst is on the back of the group as Dobbins continues to work. Gina from Team Netherlands is there. She also has dropped a power up in there too. Well, you've got to work together these four because they've got to get back on to that group in front. So in the category B race, they are off the Aqueduct QOM. They are on the run towards the Petty QOM, the big long climb today. Category C have just gone past the red marker, indicating the start of the Aqueduct climb. And it's a big group in category C at the moment. Tuffesson at the front, but it's a nay from Hurd who's really pushing on. She's dropped a feather power up. That super power, that super power for 30 seconds going to give her that additional help in terms of securing that time up the climb. Peterson from Swedish Swifters, Profumo, who rode strongly last week, coming through as well. Uh, Wimblet from the Aeonian squad. She's got Andrea as well for company. She's one of the teammates. There's also Nina from the Aeonian squad in there as well. But Profumo pushing on too. So is uh, Peterson. Peterson from the Swedish Swifters put in a really big dig there towards the end of the Aqueduct QOM to pick up the time to squeeze the last few seconds out of those pedals. Well, Nyberg, Zoella, Reinhold, Seeger, Boxy from Galaxy, Nina from the Aeonian, all inside the top 16 as this group of riders now trying to establish themselves on the other side of the Aqueduct QOM. It's a big, big group of Category C riders and they've got to be really careful that the gaps do not form. Category C now up and over the Aqueduct QOM, our third intermediate of the day. Well, Category A are taking the sweep now towards the Petit Com, the QOM, the 2.7 kilometre climb. Uh, 105 metres elevation gain for our riders. And there you go. That's the red marker on the road signifying the start. And it's Alba from Synergy at the front. Wilson from Coalition. Baines is there as well. Otto from Wahoo Lacole. Tompkinson from ART is in here as well. Pruitt is there as well. Engstrom is there. I tell you who we haven't seen this tonight, and that's Galegos. So I wonder whether she actually took to the start line tonight. She was dominant last week. Uh, picking up points and the week before, but uh, not in the mix tonight. So Wickenberg, M. Scrum, Br Pruitt, Mobs is still in here. So is Tompkinson and Bullock at the front there. So this pack of category A riders on the base of the climb. The gradient currently 3% under their wheels. They've got a lot of climbing to do. The Petit QOM, it is first across the line. So being at the front of this climb is important at the top, not necessarily at the bottom, but you need to stay in contention. And that's a tight group of category A riders on the Petit QOM climb. 
on the Aqueduct QOM, our third intermediate. This is our D category race. They're pushing on, they're swinging around the corner. And we've got riders here, Powell Booth and M from Evo, who look as though they've broken away from the group. There's a long stretch on that yellow pack at the moment that you can see on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And the push has come early, but they've got to hold that pace. And I'll tell you who's coming fast at the moment. That's Williams from the Ionian squad. She's coming up and over the top, utilizing that power up at the moment. But we've got other power ups going in now, dropping the feathers, dropping the power ups. The big pushes are now coming on. So Paul from the Ionian squad going up and over her teammate, Carla Williams. Hughes from Level Racing. Taylor from Level is in there as well. Josephson for Swedish Rifters in the mix too. But it's all about Mandy Paul. Mandy Paul is pushing on here. She's used the power up perfectly here. But it is fastest through the segment. She may be first across the line, but will she take fastest through the segment tonight? Taylor from Level is coming. Ruth from Coalition. Hughes from Level as well. Lindholm from Swedish Swifters in the mix as well. Booth now coming through in 15th place. For me, it's looking like 15 or 16 riders there are probably going to form the leading pack in that category D race as they come off of the aqueduct climb. They're going to swing around that right hand corner and the descent is on. The chase is on from behind because they don't want to let those gaps go. This is looking like 10 riders at the moment with a small group just a little bit further back. We said 17 riders in total uh, before we saw the first main gap back to the rest of the field. Oh, it's fast and furious tonight and you can see the work being done in the home studios of our riders. Tomkinson putting in some fantastic rides at the moment on the top right hand corner of your screen. She's got a notice board and her world map by her. I'm not quite sure she needs to look at that at the moment. The concentration is on the screen and the competition in front of her. So our riders are working hard. It's an exhausting effort picking up all the points. So we will be able to see the rest of the points picked up here. This is category A. They're coming up for 19 kilometers of this 23.9 kilometer race. And the stretch is now on the group. And you can see the group now. We've got a leading group and we've got riders dropped off the back. So Wilson from Coalition Tidholm Engstrom now coming to the fore. Uh, we've also got in the mix Otto, Proust, London, Baines, Thompson, all in the mix here in this Category A race. They are working their way up to the front of this pack. They are ensuring they get the right side of any split. Svadstrom is here as well. Uh, so it's looking like we're seeing the riders in the top five at the moment in that A category overall series standing results, all working strongly in the mix here. Our category A riders using those power ups to ensure they stay with the group here. Pruitt, Svardstrom, Wilson, Bullock, Proust, Alba from Synergy. Uh, all in the mix. Baines is here as well, right to the fore on the group. Thompson in this leading group as well. Now, this is the last intermediate. 25 points available here for the first across the line. The top 10, and you can see on the top right-hand corner of your screen, we've got to two more corners before that red banner signifying the end of this segment well the gradient just kicked to seven percent it's steep in these final stages uh tidholm is the rider as really strongly pushing on again tonight on the climb we've seen her attack and we've seen her push on elsewhere wilson from the coalition squad is in the mix as well alba from synergy engstrom now coming up into the mix Berglund is there as well tidholm kicks i've just seen orange numbers come out of tidholm at the moment She's desperately wants this as well. Wilson is just going backwards from Coalition. Engstrom pushing on. But Otto is coming up into the mix. Berglund is there as well. But it's Tidholm at the front. Four riders. Will it be Tidholm across? Yeah, I think it may well be. But Otto came fast, fast behind from Otto as well. Now, 
Will it be Otto? She took the Aqueduct QOM. Will she take the Petty QOM as well? Now, Bullock motoring here to get back onto that group. Six riders down the road. She's got to get onto Engstrom's wheel. Then Proust will. She needs to pick up these riders here. The descent here, 2.7 kilometres down. Then an 800 metre flat run into the finish. She's got the power up on at the moment. She's trying everything to get to those riders. She needs to drop her heart rate as well to get the effort and the energy back for that final sprint 75 points available on that finish line tonight for the first rider over the line the leading group here in the category a race pushing on albert from synergy otto from wahoo lacol proust is there from hexagon tid holm who has been one of our star riders this evening pushing on as well she's been picking up points everywhere chasing group engstrom is in the chasing group with bullock with thompson Baines and London, Svardstrom in the mix there as well. So two main groups on the road. We've got five riders in the leading group in the category A race. Well, it's going to be interesting to see who's over the line in first. But in our category B race, it's all about the Petit QOM. They are on their way up this 2.7 kilometre climb and it is Cabot who is the rider who is pushing on at the moment so Cabot in one Gina from Team Netherlands in two E from F3 Racing in three in fact she's got company she's got a lot of company there's a group of one two three four five six riders in third place and then it's still just a small group the small group back, but it's looking like this front pack all now starting to come together. So Cabot takes them into the corner. She's got one more corner to go. If she looked over her left shoulder, she would see the red banner signifying the top of the climb. The riders are coming. So Cabot, the leader for some time on this climb, now being joined by Gina from Team Netherlands. Can Gina from Team Netherlands come up and over the top or will Cabot have this climb in the bag in category B there side by side as Gina sprints I think it's going to be half a wheel it is indeed half a wheel Gina from Team Netherlands comes over the top of Cabot to take first across the line on the putty QOM in category B brilliant racing Category B up and across the Putty QOM. They are now on that 2.7 kilometre downhill run towards the finish. Well, for Category A, we've got five riders in the breakaway here. Seven seconds back to the chase group. They don't have far to go. One kilometre left of this race tonight for our Category A riders. 33 minutes of racing so far. Five riders in the leading group. Now you can see on the screen, well, you could see on the screen, uh, the uh, results for our intermediate sprints. But this is all about the finish. And I'll tell you something, this is winding itself up to be a great finish tonight in this Category A race because Berglund is the rider who is pushing on here. Ted Holm, who has been been so hard on those pedals tonight pushing on and closing the gap uh, the power up is in from Alba from Synergy Proust is there as well Otto well Otto from Wahoo Lacole she's been leading this for the last few rounds she's overall series standing leader at the moment can she pick up the final maximum number of points 75 points available on this final line they are coming up for 200 meters to go so Berglund leads it out, Tidholm in two, Tidholm now starting the sprint, she's wound it up, but Berglund goes 11 watts per kilo, Tidholm at 10, Proust winding it up as well as Otto, Otto coming from the back of the pack, the Wahoo Lacole rider, she's come from P4 to P1, she's going to go over the line, she does indeed, it's Otto who times that perfectly in category one. Well, the sprints are on for those minor standings. The minor points, Farstrom going over the line with Baines. Oh, category A, fast and furious.
disagree B pushing on here too we've got Dobbins in the mix Genia from Team Netherlands Ernst from Crush Pod they are all in the mix here they are pushing on Tenille Irish from Ravon is here as well the gap back uh, from this group of seven riders 14 seconds to Sogren now Sogren is indeed the leader of the category B race but the category C riders now coming up and over the top of the putty QOM. This is first across the line. Godfrey, Peterson, Zoella, and Ney from Herd. Profumo in the mix as well. Strong riding from these riders. It's looking like we're going to see a good, strong pack here of riders in this category C race. They're at 20 kilometers, but it's going to be the B category race who are coming in to the line next. They've got one kilometer to go. They've hit the flatlands. It's a flat run in now to the finish. Eight riders in this leading group. Eight riders in the leading group here in category B with 900 meters to go. Gina from Team Netherlands. She took the top points in the top of the putty QOM. Cabot, who just got edged out now, coming to the back of the group. Smart, smart positioning from Cabot, from Gina, from Team Netherlands. Ernst from Crushpod is there as well. So is Tenille Irish from Ravon. They're going to come round and they're going to see the finish line shortly. 600 metres of of this category B race to go. The 600 metres of this category B race to go. Gina from Team Netherlands on the back of this group with Dobbins. She's moving through the pack. Cabot opens up early. Cabot's opened up the sprint with a huge kick at eight watts per kilo. Gina from Team Netherlands doesn't want to let it go. She's trying to close down the gap, but they've still got the whole sprint to go. 200 metres to go, and they've opened up so early in category B. Dobbins, Gina, Tenille Irish, Ernst, who is going to take this? I think it may well be Dobbins, but is she going to make it? Is Gina going to come up over the top? I think that's Gina from Team Netherlands who comes up over the top of Tenille Irish to take the win in the category B race. Oh, I almost say don't count on me for calling that because that was about half a wheel. She knows to time things well. Sogren, the leader of the category B overall series, coming through there for around 10th place. Strong, strong riding. What's from the Aeonian squad at the next category B rider coming through on the line, but just being pipped by Lawson, her teammate who comes up and over the top. So Laura Lawson from the Aeonian squad coming up and over the top of Watts to pick up those extra points in that category B race finish. So our category A riders are over the line. Our category B riders are over the line. Our category C riders, well, at 22.3 kilometers into this race. They are just towards the bottom of the putty QOM. They are about to come into the flatlands and the flatland run to the finish. So it's looking to me as though we've got a strong group here. Zoella from the Revo squad, McMahon from Race in the mix, Godfrey from ESRT, Ane from Herd is here, Profumo is here, Olsen as well, Peterson. These riders have been riding strongly today. Nina from the Aeonia squad, she's in the group five seconds back. So there is indeed a group not far back actually from this leading pack. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight riders in this leading group at the moment in category C. They are lining up wide across the road. They've got 900 meters to go. Who is going to pick up the 75 points for first place across the line? Well, it is all to play for currently in Category C. Godfrey, Ane, Olsen, Zoella, Profumo, Peterson all in the mix. Seeger is leading the chase group behind. They are at six seconds at the moment with 600 metres to go. I don't think we're going to see them close this down now. I think we're going to see the winner of the category C race come from this leading group. So Godfrey, Olsen, Zoella and Ney from Herd 
in the mix there as we start to see the group open it up and it's Godfrey kicking. Peterson is there too. So Peterson, the first one to hit the orange numbers. Olsen is moving through the pack as well as the power-ups go down and Peterson from Swedish Swifters leading this out. Godfrey in two and Nay from Herd is there. So is McManon from race three coming up and over the top. Peterson, is she going to make it? Anae from Herd comes over. We've got a fast-moving rider coming through as well. But I think Anae from Herd hung on to that. So I think that comes through for Anae from Herd. Reinhold from ESRT with Boxy from Galaxy. Nyberg leading the sprint out from Group 2 as the Group 3 now come over the line. Wimblet is there. Alessio is there. Kirby, Andrea from the Ionian squad as well as Luckberg. Oh, Category 3. Lots of small groups on the world road coming through that final sprint. Category D are our last group of riders into the finish at 20.4 kilometres into this race. They are on the descent now of the Putty QOM. They've got 3.4 kilometres still to go in this race. And take a look at this. It's Halbus from Swedish Swifters with Hughes. So Halbus currently lying at the start of this race in first place in the overall on the Iceni Women's Race Series with 396 points. Hughes, last week, moved herself up to third position in this race field, 14 points behind Williams from the Union squad, who came in today's race in second place. Now, so Hughes and Halbus, one and two here in front of us on the screen. One and three in the overall standings. Williams from the Ionian squad lying in second place overall, sitting in the front of the pack. Take a look at that. So Carla Williams from the Ionian squad with Mandy Poole, her teammate. These two riders are the riders doing the chasing here. They're chasing Hughes and Halbus. They've got two seconds to the team of two riders behind. So Joffson and lvb from team netherlands are in the mix here chasing and i think they're going to come back to williams and paul from the ionian squad and we're going to have hughes and halibus down the road and we're going to have a group of four riders chasing but it is not that much further back to the next group of riders booth and powell just another two seconds back so can hughes and halibus stay clear of the chasing riders behind uh, williams from the ionian squad is nine seconds back with teammate paul joffson 11 seconds back with LVB from Team Netherlands. Booth and Powell, well, they're another few seconds back. Well, they've got one and a half kilometres to go. It's looking like the groups of Josephson and LVB have indeed caught the group of Williams and Paul. Booth and Powell, I think are about to do the same. So I think we're about to see six riders come together here. So these six riders looking like they're going to come together, but nine seconds back on the leading two. So we're going to have a fight on for the top 10 positions today in this category D race. But Halbus and Hughes, Halbus making the most of the final descent on this course to drop her heart rate as much as possible to give her as much energy as she can put in her back pocket for this sprint because she's going to want these points from Hughes but Hughes from level is going to want to pick up the points from this Swedish Swifter. She's going to see how close she can get to Williams overall in the standings for the Iceni Women's Race Series. So the gap's coming down. Halbus and Hughes now six seconds up the road on this chasing group of four riders containing Williams, containing Paul, LVB from Team Netherlands, Josephson from Swedish Swifters all in the mix here. Have they got enough time to make the catch or are they going to run out of road? Who's going to open up the sprint first? We've got 600 metres to go of this race. Oh, it is getting tight. Albus and Hughes, five seconds clear of the chasing group. The chasing group are going to come thick and fast into the sprint. But Halbus leading out Hughes here. Now, this is interesting. They are going to see on the right-hand side the flashing green sign signifying the start of the sprint, signifying 200 metres till the finish banner. They've got eight seconds now on the chase group behind. So who's going to open this up first? That's the finish line. Halbus 
is in one. Hughes is in two. Hughes kicks at six spots per kilo. She's gone over the top of Halbless. Has Halbless got anything left or is she going to let Hughes take it? Hughes takes the win in category D from Halbless. Williams from the Ionian squad. She wants those extra points now to hold on to second place overall. Coming across the line in third. It's her teammate, Paul, who picks up the points for fourth position today. Powell, Taylor, Ruth from Coalition, all in that top 10. Oh, it's a breeze from Watford rider who is now leading the rest of the riders through and over the line. Well, what can I say? Absolutely brilliant racing from all of our riders here in all of our categories. Absolutely amazing. So let's take a look at our results for this evening. So Otto, fastest rider today in category A, 34 minutes, 23 seconds, coming through in first place. Berglund in second, just three hundredths back. Proust taking third, then Tidholm, then Albert from Synergy, London Svardstrom, Tomberby, Engstrom and Baines. So top 10 in category A, followed by the top 10 in category B. It's Gina from Team Netherlands. And take a look at that. Two minutes, 45 seconds back is the winning time in category B. From the winning time in category A, Dobbins coming through in second. Neil Irish picking up third place. Ernst taking fourth. Michaelic in fifth. Cabot in sixth. Mail in seventh, Akuri in eighth, Sogren in ninth, and Smederoid rounding out the top ten across the line tonight in category B. Category C race. Well, it was indeed an A from her who took that on the line, and she really took that on the line tonight. So Five minutes, 41 seconds behind the winning time in category A. And Nay from Hurd took the win in category C from Olsen in second place. Just one. Look at that. Five minutes, 41. Five minutes, 42. Five minutes, 42. Five minutes, 42 back. How close was this racing in category three tonight? So an A from Hurd. Olsen in two. Pettersson in three. Godfrey in four. Profumo in five. Zoella in six. McManon in seven. McHugh in eight. Reinhold in ninth. And Boxy, well, rounding out the top ten there. Category D were our final group of riders over the line. Uh, 10 minutes, 25 seconds back from the winning time in category A. And it was Hughes from Level Racing who took that win from Halbus, who laid or led the series standings coming into the race tonight. Uh, will she be able to hold on to those series standings? Well, only time will tell. Williams taking third place tonight in that sprint from Paul, her teammates. Karen from LVB coming in in fifth place. Josephson sixth, Powell in seventh, Aunt Ruth in eighth, Taylor in ninth and Sara Soto in tenth. The racing across the entire Iceni Women's Race Series has been absolutely phenomenal. And tonight, well, it didn't disappoint. Two sprints, two climbs, and that finish. It had it all. It was fast. It was furious. There were sprints to the line, and half a wheel counted. It is always about those seconds. Really important in picking up those points. Well, the points from tonight will be added to the current overall standings to give the final league results. You can find them on Zwift Power. Zwiftpower.com is where you need to go. Don't do it instantly because our team of uh, fairies behind the scenes, well, they need to do all the number crunching to get those points all added up to the series standings and give you the overall results. So Zwift Power is where you need to go to find those. Or, of course, you can follow the Warrior Games, they are the team who have bought you the Iceni Women's Race Series. Uh, you know, we, we've been celebrating Women's History Month with the Iceni Race Series. The Warrior Games have been absolutely fantastic in terms of putting that together in conjunction with the Aeonian Race Team. If you like what you've seen, 
then give them a follow, share the footage, give them a like, follow them on Facebook, on Instagram, on other social media platforms, and get involved in the future of women's racing. Well, the racing has also been supported by Stolen Goat. That is where the prizes are coming from. The production team behind the scenes at ZMS Esports Studios. Well, thank you very much for the shows. It has been an absolute pleasure working with you. You can find ZMS Studios on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitch TV. Give them a like and uh, follow their pages and then you'll be given access and information to all the highlights and any live shows they have going on in the future. The other team to thank is those at Full Speed Events. Obviously, giving the commentary, well, that's me, but uh, we've also got a tech team here who have been frantically working behind the scenes as well. You can follow me at Biking Emma for all things commentary and all things esports, cycling, as well as other cycling disciplines. Now, all that leaves me to do is to say a massive thank you to our riders, our viewers, our huge team behind the scenes who have put the Iceni Women's Race Series together. The Warrior Games will be back next year with the Tour de Boudicca and the Iceni Women's Race Series. Until then, we will see you on a bike somewhere. Join us. Be a cycling warrior. Mm.